in a never broken world, everything revolves around the governance of nations. No nation has the right to look for government without seeking the counsel of the ambassadors for Christ. No nation is truly governed until the church has been assigned to it. The church of Christ, we are supposed to unfold the God world order upon the nations of the earth. For that's the gospel. The gospel is the God world order for the nations of the world through the propagation of Christ in people. So, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in Nigerians, the hope of Nigeria's glory. The gospel when preached shall define one church of Christ assigned to Nigeria. Not Christ embassy, not redeemed, not winners, or any other government approved, corporate affairs commission registered Christian denomination. No. Until one church of Christ assigned to Nigeria moves within the communities of the cities of the nation, advancing the authority of Christ through it, the nation will never be repaired. To advance the authority of Christ in a nation means to go into the nation in battle array, coming from another dimension, even the realms of the spirit, breaking the hold of the devil over the nation and bringing down programs, welfare programs, health programs, educational programs, with movements within cities that shall further the cause of righteousness within the nation. This is the footprint of the Church of Christ in every nation, and it's the footprint of the Lord Jesus Christ when he says, I must preach the kingdom of God to other towns also, for that is why I was sent. So, when this dimension is captured, we shall preach to cities, we are not preaching to people and trying to make them Christianity practicing Christians. No. Instead, we are preaching to cities. We are preaching to cities so that cities will allow righteousness be the foundation of its systems, institutions, and day-to-day -day operation. We want to shift the narrative within the communities. Righteousness must exalt the nations in this lifetime. And this has to be through the ministry of the church assigned to them. The church of Christ. Incredible people. God ordains them. The Holy Spirit inspires them. That means Jesus Christ is living in and walking through them as they move through the communities, advancing the authority of Christ. They have only one message to every nation, and it is, Jesus is Lord. And he demands the belief and obedience of the people of every nation. Apostle Paul calls this the obedience to the faith in every nation. Are you with me? So I can but just say here, there is a new generation rising. It's a new generation. Eyes have not seen them, neither have ears heard of them. They are coming with a concept of the gospel which many practitioners of mainstream Christianity find rather strange. We are indeed coming from another dimension. People ask, who are they? The likes of whom the world have not seen. The land before them is like the Garden of Eden. So if they see physically desolate places and ruined cities before them, what they have in their eyes is the Garden of Eden. Then they say, this is what we shall do. We shall shift this city from being a goat to a sheep. And by preaching the kingdom of God to the city, they shift the towns from a goat that it is presently to a sheep that Christ wants it to be. Are you with me? The Lord tells me about the Trelawney anointing. The anointing that defines people as ones who come from a town with a church. A town with a church assigned to it is quite different from a town that has many Christian denominations filling its streets. A city may have many denominations of Christian churches and still remain unchurched. Christians who indwell it practice denominational Christianity in it, but do not advance the authority of Christ within it. That means the devil still runs rush hard across and about the city 
husbands still have side cheeks wives stab their sleeping husbands with a kitchen knife crime is ongoing within the community politicians remain corrupt false prophets have a field day fleecing the ship while false teachers remain in the business of indoctrinating the people in error hello these are vital signs of an unchurched city the devil has each free operation within them principalities powers rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly realms all run free the strong man has bound all and sundry and his goods are indeed at peace no stronger than he rising to save the day this means there are no priests no deliverers no saviors no intercessors no supplications no giving of thanks being made for the souls of the people who indwell this city there is not an ongoing spiritual warfare to break the hold of the devil over the city and defend it from incoming harm this is how you recognize the unchurched cities of the world Show me a city with ruined systems and institutions, and I will show you a city without a church. Show me a city with corrupt politicians, and I will show you a city without a church. Show me a city who has mega churches owned by false teachers and obscenely rich false prophets, and I will show you a city without a church. Show me a city where the definition of prosperity is about how much people have lined their pockets with. The number of houses, cars, and beautiful women, and I will show you a city without a church. Show me a city with a deep drive for lewdness, with the excesses of popular culture impacting on its people, and I will show you a city without a church. So, the church of Christ remains the greatest gift that God has left with the world today. The church of Christ, they do not practice Christianity or any religious devotion. They are just a community of people through which the river called Christ flows. They comprise architects, doctors, lawyers, engineers, artists, masons, musicians, carpenters, plumbers, politicians, teachers, counselors, people of all walk of life, all with the river called Christ flowing out of them. They flow out of everywhere and fill the cities with light and they define the new narrative that cities go under. The narrative of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. This is what they define in every nation, even the kingdom of God. They cast out devils wherever they find the devil and his workings. They open the eyes of people of their experience to a deeper spiritual reality so that all may be sensitive to God and find their way in the journey of spirituality. These ones are loaded with the word of God such that they give counsel to the brokenhearted. They are counselors par excellence and are filled with light, especially at a time when people are frustrated by the broken systems and institutions of the present reality. These people have taken the responsibility to present the Christ who is come in the flesh today. Yes, Jesus Christ comes in the flesh today through the Holy Spirit inspired ones. They do not postpone the day of the coming of the Lord as far as they are concerned. The Lord is present. And lo, I am with you always, even till the end of of the age I am with you the power to be witnesses unto Jesus Christ is palpable with these ones because they are indeed prolonging the days of the Son of Man upon the earth this means there is one task that we must do we must ensure that we have locked hands with the Holy Ghost so that we can receive the power to be witnesses unto Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm calling for the rise of this incredible generation who must rise from the nations of the world at this hour. Even as the sure word of prophecy had gone forth about them, in the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 14, Jesus Christ said, 
and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness to the nations and then shall the end come the Lord calls it this gospel of the kingdom he is specific about this gospel the same one that he preached during his earthly ministry in his words he says in the latter days a generation shall rise who shall preach the same gospel of the kingdom which he preached during his earthly ministry that means a generation shall rise which shall comprise people who shall have their own account the record of his life during his earthly ministry that's the gospel right the gospel is the account of the life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth during his earthly ministry as recorded in the first four books of the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is the literal definition of the gospel. So we're talking about the rise of a generation of people who keep their own record of the life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So therefore, as believers on the Lord Jesus in every nation, we are a prophetic people who keep an individual account of the life of Jesus Christ. And as such, Christ is enthroned in all. By the foregoing, the believer becomes someone who keeps a record of the Spirit-led, Scripture-fulfilling, mystery-unraveling life of Christ. He or she is someone who has a record of the life spent healing and mending broken hearts. Yes, someone with an individual record of the eye-opening, deliverance-dispensing, God-motivated life. This gospel of the kingdom preaching generation rising in the nations comprises individuals who keep a record of the prison-opening life is a life spent opening prison doors to people who are bound so that they may be broken free into the liberty of sonship to God. My God. I'm talking about a whole life spent giving encounters to those who are lost. Giving them encounters with the supernatural. Encounters with God. Increasing their hunger and thirst for God. The same is the ministry of reconciliation. And this is what the Lord says about this rising prophetic generation and what they are rising to preach, what they are rising to both do and teach. And this, he says, shall be for a witness to the nations right before the coming of the end. So my brothers and sisters, whosoever you are, you must play your part to be among this generation rising in your city. Play your part you must be present. Your spirit man must be present. This should be your prayer. Lord, what would you have me do? How do I become a part of this prophetic generation? Dear Father, help me. Give me my own testimony of Jesus Christ. Let me think like Jesus Christ thinks. Let me act like Jesus Christ acts. Curse me. To see like he sees and hear like he hears. Give me the mindset of Christ. Give me his awareness and sensitivity. Give me the authority of Christ. Give me everything that made Jesus Christ who he is during his earthly ministry. Give it all to me. John chapter 16 verse 13 down to 15. The Lord Jesus says, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shew it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine. Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. This is what the Lord says. Everything that makes me, me, he will take of me and make it known to you. Glory to God. Amen.